all Melder production effects can process both controller and note MIDI messages. In this tutorial, we'll show you how it's done. This organ track is very raw and monophonic, so let's make it wider by using M Tremolo. Firstly, we'll set up some basic parameters to improve the sound. A 90 degrees phase shift makes the tremolo sound resemble a rotary. It will be useful to be able to control the rate with a modulation wheel. So let's open the MIDI settings. Each slot can be assigned to any parameter and controller. The default setting is the modulation wheel, so no need to change it. We need to specify which parameter the modulation wheel should control. Let's select Rate and enable the controller. Now we need to make the host, Cubase in our case, send MIDI to the plugin. First, create a MIDI track and select M Tremolo as the output for the MIDI track. That's it. Watch the rate change as I move the modulation wheel on my external keyboard. The data is visible on Cubase's MIDI meter. Now you may want to limit the range of values the controller will use. The simplest way is to select interval mode and set minimum and maximum values. To enter the value as text, just hold shift and click on a slider. This works with all sliders in all Melder plugins. The modulation wheel now has a range from 1 Hz to 7 Hz. Now let's record some modulation wheel movements in Cubase. Note the modulation wheel values in the track being recorded and the resulting rate parameter changes. If you want the modulation wheel to control multiple parameters, you can just add some like this. The modulation wheel will now control rate and shape. We will now attach a depth parameter to the pitch bend controller. First, enable the slot, then click on the Learn button and move the pitch bend. Click the Learn button again to disable the learning mode. Depth is already selected, so there is nothing more to do. I'm now moving the pitch bend while the modulation wheel is already recorded. Let's remove the M Tremolo plugin and try the same thing with much heavier artillery M Multiband Vibrato. M Multiband Vibrato contains great rotary simulations. We'll use a four band rotary here. Opening the MIDI settings is the same as with M Tremolo. Modulation wheel is default, but we do need to select a target parameter. The Easy screen contains four parameters. The first one is multi-parameter 1, the second is multi-parameter 2, the third is multi-parameter 3, and the fourth is multi-parameter 4. Select the second one, the rate. Let's start the playback. As you can see, nothing happens. This is a common mistake. We need to route the MIDI to the plugin. The recorded modulation wheel is now correctly moving the rate parameter. Let's map the pitch bend controller to the dry, wet parameter, which is multi-parameter 1. Create a special MIDI track for it, so we can easily record it afterwards. Now there are two MIDI tracks attached to M Multiband Vibrato. Open MIDI settings. Learn the pitch bend and attach it to multi-parameter 1.
Move the pitch bend to see if it works. And let's record something. Besides controllers, notes can also be used to control parameters. Open the MIDI settings. Select Target Parameter. We will modulate the width, which is Multi-Parameter 3. Enable the slot. You can filter the MIDI channel, but this isn't important. If we press a few keys, the higher the note I play, the higher the value. Let's replace the pitch bend track with notes, which will control the width parameter.